Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rosina. I create makeup, skincare, and a bit of lifestyle content here on my channel. And today's video is going to be about skincare. So if you're interested in any of those topics, then subscribe down below. I upload on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday at 7 p.m. So if you don't want to miss that, then ring the notification bell as well. But today I'm trying something very, very different. I've never tried anything like this before and I'm quite excited. So as you can tell from the title, I am going to be trying the Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Face Mask. Now this is a reusable mask and I am so excited to see what benefits I get from it. So if you want to see my thoughts on the Cryo Recovery Face Mask by Charlotte Tilbury, then just keep on watching. So this Cryo Mask is, I've already taken it out of the packet and had it in the freezer. It comes in this little pouch with the instructions on how to use it on the front, which I really like because sometimes I don't keep these and I don't want to keep looking it up online on how to use it, so I really like that. So online, I bought this from Cult Beauty, it was a little bit expensive, it was £49, but I thought for a reusable face mask that would be really, really good. So I'm going to read what it says. So it says, Charlotte Tilbury is here to help with her all new cryo range. Inspired by the high performance ice tech of cryotherapy and the ancient art of facial acupressure techniques. This unique reusable mask works in synergy with Charlotte's research powered skincare to create the appearance of lifted, firmer, refreshed and revived skin. The secret to red carpet ready, glowing, firmer, smoother looking skin with pores that appear tightened and smoothed. I'm so excited, that sounds right up my street. I'm a bit scared to put this on my face because it is so cold. The face mask is crafted from flexible skin con cushioning silicone that allows you to lift and secure this around your facial contours. It's embedded with advanced cooling gel bead pockets that expertly retain cold, helping to relax the facial mus muscles constrict the blood vessels and create an immediate lifting tightening effect. It targets your forehead, cheekbones, lines, I don't know what that says, name, something, and under the chin to smooth, lift, tighten and refresh. But it doesn't stop there. The cooling experience is enhanced with stainless steel metal beads to activate the acupressure points above your brows. It helps relieve tension in the face. I'm so excited. So it says you can apply this to freshly clean skin, which I've got, as you can tell, I've washed my hair as well. It is actually Christmas day morning when I film this. So this is my Christmas day get ready prep. It says you can apply it to clean fresh, like freshly clean skin, or you can apply a serum. So I'm gonna apply this serum. I haven't actually used this in a while. I've just found it in my drawer. It is the Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix hyaluronic shot. So I'm going to apply this to my skin just because my skin feels a little bit dry today. As I said it's Christmas day so it's winter so it's quite, my skin always dries out. So I'm just going to apply this all over my skin. This really soaks into the skin really quickly. Apply that. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see my skin before I apply this face mask and I'm also going to do this a couple more times like I'm not just going to do it today because I feel like I need to give it a chance so I'm going to zoom you in so this is how my face is looking it's not too bad it's a little bit puffy um, it is quite early it's currently quarter past eight in the morning so it's puffier I also don't like my lines on my forehead everyone tells me they can't see them but I personally can see them so I'm hoping it helps there and just tightens everything up. So, I put this in the freezer overnight. It does say that you can, you need to put it in for a minimum of 30 minutes before you apply it. And then it says just to remove the gel mask from the pouch and place the gel side on clean skin. I'm guessing it's this side, yeah. Oh my word, it's so many, like, this looks so weird. It looks like some science experiment, but I'm excited to see what it does. So, I'm hoping it fits my face. Oh, it's gonna be so cold. So you're just gonna put this on here. <gasps> it's cold, obviously. Woo! 
and then it says to secure this around the top of your head. Oh my god, this is cold. I feel like I've got this on the wrong way. I feel like it's gonna give me like ice burn on my face. But no, it's alright, why? It's so cold. I can't put it over my ears just because I've got a piercing. So I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. This is freezing my face. I feel like this can't be good, like it hurts, but we will see. So I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes and then I will be back to show you what it looks like. I look crazy, so I'm just gonna sit here and watch some YouTube and I'll be back. Look at my eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. I can barely even talk. Grand reveal. I can't see much difference, but I like how it feels. It does look a little less puffy in these areas, which is nice. What I did, and the reason it's a little bit red, is I rolled over it with this, just to roll on the beads and this bit. So I quite like that, and I like, like I said, I like the fact it's reusable, and you just put a serum underneath, and then you put this on, and it just sort of, I feel a little bit tighter. It's a little bit on my nose. I feel like it dug in a little bit. It's a little bit red, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna continue to try this. I really like it so far. I like that it made me feel awake. My under eyes don't look so puffy. It has made some redness here. So yeah, I'm gonna see how it goes. Just ignore my background. Um, I've put all the Christmas decorations away and they're now currently in my room until we take them back to my parents. So, I have tested this face mask out again off camera and I didn't like it. It hurt when I put it on and then I took it off and I had like, I think it's like ice burn or something that this whole part of my eye went all swollen even a bit down here. I'm gonna try it once more on camera with you guys just so we can see. This has been in the freezer just over 30 minutes but I have got it out and it's been out for a good 10 minutes. So I only have, um, I've cleansed my skin and I've put toner on. This is how my skin is looking before. I'm really liking how it's looking at the minute. It's looking a lot clearer and I'm really happy with it. So this is how we're looking. I took this away with me as well and I was skeptical to use it. I'm wondering whether this would actually be better in the fridge instead of the freezer. I know James Welsh did a review on this as well um, and he kind of said that the fridge was a bit better. But also all these beads have like separated, they're not where they should be. So I'm going to put this on. It's just not a comfortable experience. Oh. I also have a really small head so It like hurts instantly in this area. And also, because of how solid it is, it doesn't sit flat on my face. So I'm gonna go over it with a roller. I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes, as it says. I'm gonna sit here and you can watch me roll on my face. So I've set a timer for 10 minutes. It's already going. So I'm just gonna sit here. And all I do is I just roll it over different parts. See, the forehead bit feels really nice. I'm not too keen on these bits, they kind of hurt a little bit, but like I said, I'm just going to sit here, roller it all, and we will see. today because I've just had a shower so I think that's gonna affect it but if you look how like red my face is oh look it's happened again here let me zoom you guys in here can you guys see 
that like puffiness. It looks like a hive. I think I'm allergic to something on this. Because it's happened every time I've worn it. I don't know whether it's made of like latex and I've got a sensitivity to latex. But I just, I'm not a fan. I don't even know, even if I kept it in the fridge, whether it would be any good. I just find it very claustrophobic and if you just had a shower, it's very hot and sweaty. Like you could see condensation on my chin. But yeah, look, it's even affected my nose quite badly. But yeah, it just makes me super red and I don't feel any less puffy, which is really disappointing. I have been testing out a different product as well, um, which I prefer. It is the Nurse Jamie Super Chrome Massaging Orb. And this one you put in the fridge, you don't have it on your face for 10 minutes at a time. You just massage it in and it's really good for lymphatic drainage, I find. And also with this one you can heat it up to help with any sore muscles that you have. So it can be a massaging ball for your whole face. And it hasn't done this to me before. It doesn't make me super red, it's really cooling. Whereas this, I find it really affects my skin. But yeah, this bit, if I come in a bit further. Can you see that, it's like a hive. And then it like digs into my nose. And it just makes everything more red, which I hate. So, at the minute I prefer this one. I don't think I'm gonna use this anymore. I know it was really expensive, it was like 50 pounds, maybe 40 pounds. 40 pounds but these two are the same price and I find this one has more of a instant like you can see it instantly this one I just feel like it makes me really red and it's just really uncomfortable it feels very like smushy on my face and it's not a very like relaxing experience like when I first put it on it hurts so I don't really like it whereas this you literally put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to 60 minutes Get it out, massage it over your face, and it's just really good at making your face look less puffy, especially in the morning, or if you're ill or anything like that, it's just really good for that lymphatic drainage and that temporary depuffing. Especially since I am, I sleep on my front a lot, like I've always slept on my front, I can't sleep on my back, so I prefer this. But yeah, I can't recommend this. Unless you really like the idea of having a mask that you can put on, you don't have to roll with this, so you can just put it on for 10 minutes and then go around the house and do what you want to do, but it just, it just isn't for me. It smells like a shower, like not a shower cap, a um, swim hat. And I just don't find it very comfortable to wear. There are other like masks that you can put on that are like reusable masks that you just put over your ear that help serum to go into your skin, but I don't find this any good for deep puffing. And this, I'm gonna have to try and, yeah, I'm not gonna use this again because this is the second time that's happened. I'm really sad, I did wash this after the, after every use. But yeah, I can't recommend this. I've had too many reactions now. So this is gonna go in a drawer. I may give it to someone. I may use it as like a quick five minute. I just want to look a bit less puffy, but if anything, I'll use this. I prefer this a lot more. So that might just go in a drawer somewhere. I'm really sad because it was so expensive and I was so excited to try it, but isn't for me. Not necessarily saying it's not for you guys. Obviously, like I said, if you want something that's quick and easy you can put on, that you don't have to manually massage your face, you can just put that on. They do say to roller or massage over it because obviously your pressure points, oh, obviously your pressure points here, they sit on the skin. If you get it tight enough, it does sort of like press in, but it's good to like roll over it. But yeah, I just, I don't like how it makes my skin look. It is slowly going down, but I don't feel like there's any difference to how puffy I am. And this is just getting more and more red. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you've tried it or you were looking at trying it. I just can't personally. I love Charlotte Tilbury. There are some amazing products for hers, but this just isn't for me. And like I said, it's not necessarily saying it's not for you guys. This is just my personal opinion. I'm in no means an expert. This is just how my skin has reacted to this product. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below any other videos you want to see. 
anything else, whether it's skincare, hair care, or makeup, let me know. This year, I'm really focusing. I really am into skincare at the minute, so if there's anything you want me to try, let me know. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. I do upload on a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday at 7 p.m., so if you want to be notified, ring the notification bell and follow me on Instagram where I post when I'm uploading. And I hope you guys are all safe and well and have an amazing day, evening, whatever time as you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.